Well, new tonight, the custody battle over a foster child right here in Omaha comes to a very emotional end. A Tennessee couple who raised a nine-year-old girl since she was a baby has decided to stop fighting the system and get her back. Joe Chiodo joins us now live on a case we've been following since it began. Yeah, John Mallory, a lot of developments. This case actually has gained so much attention that it has been picked up nationally. Now, this is Sonia. She is now 11 years old. Her father, John McCall, was in jail on a weapons charge for most of her life. In fact, she lived with a foster family, this one here, for eight and a half years until she turned nine and a half. It was then that his sentence was reduced and he was released from prison. According to state law, because her adoption wasn't finalized and her dad was released, well, he then got custody of her. She then had to move to Omaha to live with him and leave behind the only family that she ever knew. That family has been fighting ever since to get her back. Today, though, they told our NBC station in Nashville that they've given up all hope. It's with extreme broken hearts that we're announcing our decision to quit the legal battle. For a year and a half, the Hodgins have endured nonstop court battles, but from this point forward, there will be no more. The Tennessee Court of Appeals told them that although mistakes were made, they as foster parents have no legal standing when it comes to parental rights. Those rights belong to John McCall, Sonia's biological dad now out of prison. We were there for Sonia for her eight and a half years. And then the, for the courts to st say that we're no one have no rights is unbelievable. It's just heartbreaking. Can't talk to her. It's just, it's, it's just, you can't fan them in your mind. They say the courts failed Sonia and that the Department of Child Services didn't have her best interests in mind. The family struggles to think that as long as courts are involved, Sonia likely won't sleep a night at their home again. A home that they say, despite now being hundreds of miles away, will always include her. We certainly want Sonia to know how much we love you, how much we have always loved you, how much we'll continue to love you forever and ever and always. Our our home and our hearts will always be open to you. Your home's in Tennessee. It'll always be here. Our door's always open. I stopped by John McCall's house today, but nobody there wanted to comment right here in Omaha. His lawyer says Sonia is very happy at home, and the McCalls will be pleased the Hodgins are ending their litigation. John Mallory, back to you.